Good day, folks. I'd like to show you my crystal cell capacitor here. This is a very um, unique design here. There's a lot going on, and let me try and explain it. There's resonance at play here, and what I have inside the tube is a series of crystal plates, okay? So the environment, vibrations, sound waves, infrareds and even radio waves and ambient noises will trigger these crystals and it because there's also a capacitor in here what I've done is I've made a capacitor around the tube on each side so the capacitor charges up from the environment like if I let it it'll go up to a thousand volts Right now, this doesn't generate very much current, but it's interesting for potential. So I have it right now, it's in a self-oscillating state, triggered from the environment. And I can't even get a lock on the waveform because it's an oddball waveform. But the volts we're getting right now is 560 microvolts, just like that, you know, which is pretty good, folks. And of course, it, it reacts to vibrations. Like if I tap it, look what it does to, to the waveform. It clips every time I tap it. So it reacts to vibrations, it reacts to sound waves, it reacts to radio waves. And it also is a resonant system. It resonates as well at 9K. So this is DC, well, it, it's pulse DC that comes out. So what happens is if you put this in, in series with a DC cell, let's say a 1.5 volt battery, and pulse it at 9K, this power cell will then add contribution to the output because you'll get a pulse back. It, it, what happens is there's a feedback mechanism also with the magnetics as well. So there's a electrical and magnetic feedback and there's the uh, crystals inside, which gives us the uh, sensitivity for the pulses and the capacitor charges. So what happens is I've got the scope on, so we're continuously loading it. So you get a oddball spikes, you know, and this is very sensitive, you know, like, like I said, I, this is the way I, I tap it. So, um, sometimes it's hundreds of volts. Um, I've even been able to blink neons. I'd have to show you that one time. But I just, this is a side project, folks. And it, the thing is, I, I got a little bit of help here. Um, I've got some private emails with a friend that's working on these, or has worked on these and you know gave me hints in the right direction and basically this falls in line with some previous videos that I made with uh, you know the uh, nonlinear capacitors and whatnot and it falls right in line with that but you know explaining it on the whiteboard folks and actually coming up with a mechanism of stuff you can get at a hardware store and putting it together in theory is another thing all together so with that said I don't want to like offend anyone I don't want to get in trouble in case someone didn't want this information specifically out but all in all you know it, it's crystal layers it's resonance it's capacitance in the tube it charges the capacitor with various waves and you could either use it as various sensors pressure sensors um, find un unknown waves uh, some people who are into like ghosts and stuff like that you know not my domain but this could be a good detector for that kind of a thing so just putting it out there folks a little bit of motivation this can all come together and it all works and um, thank you all everyone for pushing me in the right direction I really appreciate the help and as I can I share as much as everything with you that I can but this is just a side project and I'm still working on my one wire systems and the Bedini hybrids and the solar projects that's still all coming up but instead of doing nothing right may as well do things that I can for now so I hope you would how's it 
the waveform is still that's pretty cool but yeah anyways i hope you enjoy thank you very all thank you very much all for watching and have yourselves a great day